If there's one thing I've come to hate about pseudoscience cures is their abhorrent cost. It's not bad enough that they're selling empty promises and fake cures. No, to add insult to injury, these treatments are oftentimes more expensive than a simple OTC or prescription that actually treats the condition. How they manage to upcharge something as plentiful and inexpensive as water is beyond me. It covers 70% of the earth and falls from the f***ing sky, and yet you charge almost 30 bucks for a whole gallon? I'll buy three cases of cheap box wine for 30 bucks before I buy a gallon of alkaline water. Besides, why is alkaline water so damn expensive? Perhaps it's from an undiscovered spring in South America. No. Is it frozen ice water that's found on the moon, melted, bottled, and then shipped back to Earth? No. There's nothing special about it. It's just water. It's as expensive as it is because of industry deception and, frankly, consumer ignorance. Luckily, in this video, I can at least reduce this by enlightening you, the consumer. People buy alkaline water for reasons they buy other health-minded goods, like avocados or wild-caught salmon, because they're known to be good for your health. The benefits of healthy food in the long term outweighs the high price, so people are willing to shell out money for it. However, unlike avocados or wild-caught salmon, alkaline water offers no measurable health benefits than the same water that comes from your faucet. Generally speaking, there are two widely held beliefs associated with drinking alkaline water that are flat out wrong. Firstly, that alkaline water has antioxidant properties. Case in point. Here are six benefits of drinking alkaline water. As alkaline water is loaded with antioxidants. Today we're going to talk about antioxidants. Now, it's a big word. Key properties of alkaline ionized water. And that is the fact that this water is a very powerful antioxidant. But actually, ionized water contains anywhere from two to five times as many antioxidants. The second belief is that alkaline water adjusts your body's pH, but we'll get to this later. Firstly, alkaline water is supposedly plentiful with antioxidants. Here's the thing, if you want to be healthy, avoid cancer, or just live a long life, antioxidants are the way to go. The reason antioxidants are great for your health is that they inhibit harmful chemical reactions inside your body. What kind of harmful reactions, you ask? Well, first, let's think of this inside a test tube. You have a molecule that, under certain circumstances, its chemical bonds break and it loses an electron. When it loses an electron, it becomes a free radical, which is very reactive. Free radicals just about attack any nearby molecule and steal their electrons to stabilize itself, which is kind of good. The only problem is when a free radical steals an electron from a nearby molecule, it makes that molecule into a free radical. For example, free radical A steals from molecule B. Free radical A is now a stable molecule, but molecule B is then turned into free radical B. Free radical B steals from molecule C. Free radical B turns into a molecule, but now molecule C is free radical C. This goes on and on, making a chain reaction. The way that you stop this chain reaction from happening is to add an antioxidant to the reaction itself. The antioxidant, due to its molecular structure, is able to donate electrons to free radicals without themselves becoming free radicals. Providing an electron to a free radical quenches the chain reaction. Here's the thing, a lot of antioxidants are actually vitamins, such as vitamin A, C, and E. This is why niacin is a common ingredient in stored food. Niacin is actually vitamin B, and vitamin B being an antioxidant prevents these chain reactions from happening that would otherwise cause the food to spoil. Now imagine this whole scenario in the test tube is happening inside your body. Your body naturally produces free radicals, it's just a part of living. And as you probably guessed, free radicals wreak havoc on your body, causing aging, sickness, and increases the risk for cancer. When you eat foods high in antioxidants, such as carotenoids, anthocyanins, and catechins, you introduce antioxidants to your body, which reduce the amount of free radicals. This is why it's important to consume fruit and vegetables on a daily basis. Sorry for the tangent, back to alkaline water. Antioxidants found in these fruits and vegetables are not in alkaline water. In fact, there's no antioxidants in it at all. See? Okay, that's not real, but there really aren't any antioxidants in alkaline water. The ingredients added to most alkaline water is just mineral and salts. Specifically, calcium chloride, potassium bicarbonate, and magnesium sulfate. I researched six different brands of alkaline water, and five out of six, or 83%, only had mineral additives and no vitamins or antioxidants whatsoever. Pause it and take a look for yourself. Only one had a non-mineral ingredient, fulvic acid. 
which is a class of organic acids and minerals extracted from soil. So again, no antioxidants. The minerals in alkaline water are only there to make the pH more alkaline. So this, as alkaline water is loaded with antioxidants, is bullshit. By the way, the home ionizers that you use to make your own alkaline water are no different. They just add these minerals and salts to your tap water. So basically, uh, <coughs> a waste of money. Here's the good news. If you want a healthy drink with antioxidants, you can buy fruit smoothie drinks, and they're much less costly than alkaline water. Disclaimer. I'm in no way paid or affiliated with any kind of fruit drink company, so this is not a paid advertisement. But check this out. Right when you look at the nutritional facts, you immediately know it's full of healthy antioxidants, such as vitamin C, vitamin E, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and pantothenic acid. I'm not sure what this is, but it sounds pretty healthy. And just look at those daily milligram values, as opposed to... <laughs> now, the second popular belief of alkaline water is that it balances your body's pH. That is, if your body was somehow in an acidic state, drinking alkaline water would raise the pH back to normal. Or that flat out drinking it raises your body's pH to a more alkaline level, making it less conducive for cancer, apparently. So it's really, really important in order to get rid of these free radicals to first alkalize the body. One of the easiest ways to do this is through alkaline water. When you drink alkaline water, you put yourself in an alkaline state. What? This is also very false. The human body does not have fluctuating pH levels. pH is tightly regulated in a very short range between 7.35 and 7.45. If it's ever outside this range, it's potentially fatal. But hold on, what is pH? pH is the measure of how acidic or alkaline a solution is relative to a scale from 1 to 14. If it's between 1 and 6, it's acidic, and if it's between 8 and 14, it's alkaline. For example, the pH of hydrochloric acid, a notoriously strong acid, is 1. On the other end, bleach, a very strong alkaline solution, has a pH of 12. Vinegar has a pH of 4, water a pH of 7, and human blood a pH of 7.4. And wouldn't you know it, having such a specific pH, the body became very efficient at maintaining this tight pH range. You see, throughout the day, you do things that affect the pH of your blood. One example is running. When you run, your blood becomes acidic so the pH drops below 7.4. The more you exercise, the more your cells use ATP in the mitochondria and thereby produce more carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide is in the blood, it becomes carbonic acid, which makes your blood acidic. In order to raise your pH back to 7.4, your body makes you breathe faster, so you exhale more carbon dioxide and thereby remove more carbonic acid from your blood, returning your blood pH to the safe range. You can drink a bottle of alkaline water, but ultimately the body is going to keep your pH set at this range. It's not like your pH is 7.2 and drinking alkaline water will help raise it back to 7.4. No, it was already at 7.4 because it needs to be there. Thinking alkaline water will change your blood pH is like throwing an ice cube onto a grill to lower the temperature. It just isn't significant enough to do anything. At this point, if you're an alkaline water advocate, or you spent over $100 on a home ionizer, you probably don't like me right about now. In fact, you may be saying, well, what about these scientific studies that show how good alkaline water is for your body? Well, it turns out that I did in fact read these same studies, so let's see what they say. The first is a 2016 study from the Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine Journal. The study compared three groups of mice, 50 mice per group. Mice in Group A received alkaline water from an ionizer, Group B received in-house made alkaline water, and Group C received regular water from the tap. The mice were studied with the three separate water conditions over a three-year period. After three years, the mice were compared for differences. Mice groups A and B on average had lower mortality rates and showed less signs of aging, in kidney, intestine, heart, liver, and brain tissue samples. Whereas with group C, they had higher mortality rates and more signs of aging in their tissue samples. So, does this mean that alkaline water is actually good for you? Well, not necessarily. One important piece of information that the study failed to include was the specific diet the mice received over the three year period, with the only diet information being that they were fed conventionally. Knowing what the mice ate is an important factor. Was the mouse diet lacking vital minerals that the mice typically need? That is, given regular tap water and mouse chow, would the mice have gotten their recommended dose of required minerals? The study doesn't say. 
it's entirely possible that groups A and B, the ones that received the alkaline water, had a higher mineral intake than the mice receiving tap water. Recall, alkaline water is alkaline because it contains minerals such as calcium carbonate and magnesium sulfate, among others. If the chow had no or little mineral supply, that means that groups A and B were getting more mineral intake from the alkaline water, while the tap mice water were not. This doesn't mean that alkaline water improves your health. It just means that one set of mice received mineral supplements and the other did not. In a different study, this time involving humans, researchers had two groups of participants do an exercise till they became moderately dehydrated. For group 1, they gave them standard tap water, and for group 2, they gave them alkaline water. Blood samples were taken from both groups and were tested for differences. Researchers discovered that group 2, the group that drank alkaline water, had a lower blood viscosity than group 1. Viscosity is the measure of how thick a liquid is. Syrup is very viscous, whereas water is not. Generally, for your blood, the less viscosity, the better. Alkaline water reduced blood viscosity more than tap water, so surely alkaline pH played a role. Except for one small, tiny little problem. In a completely different study, the same phenomenon occurred with participants who drank Gatorade. In this study, participants were also separated into two groups and underwent dehydration. Group 1 drank Gatorade and Group 2 drank tap water. Group 1 was revealed to have lower blood viscosity than Group 2. What's actually pretty funny is that Gatorade does not have an alkaline pH at all. In fact, it's pretty acidic with a pH of 3. How is it that something acidic such as Gatorade was able to reduce blood viscosity? I thought the whole point of alkaline water making blood less viscous was the fact that it's alkaline. Well, turns out the pH did not cause the blood viscosity to change. It was the electrolytes in the drink. Electrolytes such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, and others are present in both drinks, which is what changed the blood viscosity. What's more is a bottle of Gatorade is cheaper than a bottle of alkaline water. And also it tastes better too, but that's just my opinion. Mmm, lemon lime, you're calling my name. So it would seem that alkaline water really has no grounds for being any different than regular tap water, or Gatorade for that matter. It doesn't contain any antioxidants and it cannot adjust your blood pH. Overall, on the stupid scale, I'm giving alkaline water a 6 out of 10, and on the harmful scale, a 3 out of 10.